knock over your big purple space cat. Oh! We okay? I think we're okay. Welcome back to another review here at Total Toy Recon. Today we're dealing with the brand new Zeb 1-6 scale mini bust from Diamond Select Toys and Gentle Giant Limited. Uh, if you're watching this now, um, it's only been a couple of days since the ghost was officially backed and Zeb did get in the final day, Zeb was, Zeb was approved. So we will be getting a Star Wars vintage collection figure of Zeb with multiple points of articulation. I bring that up because this is pretty much what we were stuck with when it comes to a Zeb figure. So now, not really Zeb, uh, not here on the back, but I do have Zeb somewhere in my collection. I had to buy them. He was his basic five points of articulation as Kanan and Ezra were here. This was Ezra as a cadet. So this is like one of the last figures from the line. Um, Kanan was pretty standard. Um, it was nice to get Kanan again. I did get him with a Obi-Wan and Ezra three pack that it was a Toys R Us exclusive. Obi-Wan was actually a hologram, but you couldn't see it. But I do have Zeb somewhere. It is not the best figure. I mean, it's, it's laughable. It's closer to a retro collection figure and I'll put a picture of him up right here. Yeah. See, mm, not really the best. So to get an actual awesome, gentle giant, officially approved everything with Zeb in it is fantastic. So we are going to open him up, see how good he is. This is a rendition of him, of the Lasat, as he appeared on Star Wars Rebels. So will we get another Zeb down the road as he appeared on The Mandalorian? Hmm, in a Rebel, in a Rebel pilot, as we should say, in a New Republic flight gear? Let's hope. But let's see how good this guy looks. Here we go. All right, so we have our leather of authenticity right here, which is the General Giant baseball card. Tells us how many we got. We have 414 of 3,000. And if you're wondering, and I'm sure you are, Zeb retails for $130 right now. So you could probably get him from... Um, your local comic book store, you could order him directly from Gentle Giant. Um, at, at this price point, you're going to get free shipping. And let's pull him out here of the styrofoam coffin. Got the bag on. Now, the first thing I noticed is danger, danger, danger is this, his, his blaster is just, first of all, it's insanely awesome. But, wow, they went full on. Look at this thing. Full on full on details. We've got uh, the point here where he's going to fall in, but this is just, I can just see this breaking everywhere in the universe. This weapon is awesome, but how he holds it, how it's tied together and the two different things, it's just, you're just asking for this thing. Wow. It's such a great weapon, but danger points everywhere. Beware. Don't let the kids near it. Don't let the kids hold it. Don't let the cat knock over your big purple space cat. Oh, we okay? I think we're okay. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Those years. I got really nervous there. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh. Especially because this was right down there. And I think I might have. Yep. It definitely poked my skin too. <laughs> so you're getting an extra treat. It's I'm not perfect. <laughs> wow. So let's start. So what I wanted to point out immediately was the battle damage here in the armor. Really, really cool. Great look. Um, here, here, and then the, uh, artwork from Sabine here on the, here on the shoulder, but the battle scarring still, uh, going out over top. Uh, the ears are incredibly pointy, very sharp. And that's what poked me in the hand. So we'd say a 414 there, but I love that he's making the fist and the yellow just pops. It's such a great, uh, rendition of Ralph McQuarrie's original Chewbacca that they actually went through and actually like carried through with it. Such a really, really cool uh, figure and how they did him in his style. So, hey, for the first time, I could show you exactly what I'm talking about without putting up an image. So, as you can see, we have a 30th anniversary Chewbacca. Now, this Chewbacca was actually done in the style of Ralph McQuarrie. Here's a signature here, signature series, comes with a coin. 
this is what, you know, this was originally what in, uh, Chewbacca was intended to be. When Dave Filoni went through and started doing the old, you know, artwork and looking at, through the archives and stuff, this version of Chewbacca is not what he is. So he made Zeb, the Lasat, this, the look of this character, which is brilliant because it keeps everything in the world of Star Wars that Ralph McQuarrie initially envisioned and drew for George Lucas. So this is a great figure. I recommend you ever get a chance to pick one of these up. There are mul multiple, multiple figures. And sadly, they don't have all the McQuarrie figures here on the back, but they even made a General McQuarrie figure. So not only can you get like the Rebel Fleet Trooper that looks like he's a giant clam for a head, you can get Luke, Han, Leia, Obi-Wan, Yoda, all these great characters that McQuarrie envisioned. Um, and then you can get McQuarrie too. So they're really great. So let's get back to the, the Zeb. So we're now going to attach uh, the one piece to him right here. And then we are finished. So as you can see, he stands, he's brilliant. He really has the great look of the character. This blaster here on his back is fantastic, but I, it's clearly the danger point and why it isn't shipped that way and why it's an, an extra piece. So I do recommend picking him up. He's $130 if you're a fan of Star Wars. He is definitely worth getting. This is Bob from Total Tour Recon. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel. Check him out. He's worth picking up completely.